with my lip balm collection. I did a video pretty similar to this one around January and you guys really, really liked it. So I figured I'd do pretty much the same thing except this time instead of doing it in a bathtub, I'm going to be doing it in this little swimming pool. I am beyond excited about this, but also it's going to take so long to reorganize these. Like, pray for me guys. I'm just gonna get started and start pouring the lip balms into this swimming pool. So first I'm going to be pouring all of my lip smackers in here. This isn't all of them. I have another bin, but we're gonna start off with this one. So let the fun begin. There's more where that came from. A bin number two. Now we will add the lip smacker Tsum Tsums. Now I'm going to be adding in my random lip balm collection. I honestly couldn't think of a better, more productive thing to do on a Tuesday night than swimming around in my lip balm collection. Really, could you think of anything better that a girl could do? I can't. I really can't. Oh, it looks like I broke a few things already. And in go three those. And now my personal favorite, lip cess lip balms made by moi. All organized nice and neatly in these plastic baggies, but um, that's about to change. All right, now we're gonna dump my EOS in here. Okay, I low-key almost just broke the picture frame that's hanging by my bed. Whew, gosh, that was a close one. All right, I'm getting a little too excited here. Gotta tone it down just a bit. Here we go, the Liplicious Lip Gloss. Oh. Yeah, baby. This is the last bit, guys, and it's all of my lot of love lip balms. So, let's go. Look at this. Would you look at this beautiful sight? I think there's only one thing left to do. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. All right, so now that I have all of my lip balms in this swimming pool, I'm going to play some games. The first game I'm going to play is a new one that I made up, and pretty much I'm going to close my eyes and I'm gonna pick up two lip balms. And then I'm going to try them both on, and I'm gonna make like different lip combinations, and I'm gonna tell you if it was a win or a fail. Hopefully I don't get anything like bacon and peanut butter and jelly, because I might throw up, but let's just see how this goes. First we have this lip smacker in Mango Fizz, and the second one is Grape Fanta. So let's see if Mango Fizz and Grape Fanta go together. I feel like this is gonna be really good, but I mean, I don't know. Let's just try it. So Mango Fizz is going on my top lip and the Grape Fanta is gonna go on my bottom lip. And then I'm gonna rub them together and we're gonna see if it's a winner or a fail. Mm. Mm. I think that was a win. I think that they both tasted really, really good together. So I'm gonna do two more. Again, hopefully I don't get anything disgusting. But we will see. Okay, so we have the Pumpkin Cupcake Lip Sess Lip Balm and the Cranberry Lip Smacker. So, ew, Cranberry and Pumpkin Cupcake? I don't know how that's gonna go. Okay, so I just wiped off the chapstick from the last round, so let's do this one. Pumpkin Cupcake is going on my top lip. Cranberry is gonna go on my bottom lip. So, this one's super duper old. It smells like a stamp. This lip smacker is pretty much as old as I am. Mm, ew. That one tasted super weird. I didn't like it. I'm giving that one a fail. So I got one more left to do. Let's hope this one is good. And... Okay, so I got the piece of cake lip smacker and the banana split sundae lip set. Okay, that actually sounds amazing. Cake and ice cream. I'm actually so eager right now to try this out. Mm. Oh my gosh, now I get to pair it with the banana split lip zest, which is so good. I'm very excited right now, if you couldn't tell. Moment of truth. Mm. Okay guys, that was definitely a win. So if 
for this next challenge, I'm going to see how many orange flavored lip balms I can find in just one minute. I want you guys to comment below and guess how many you think I'm going to find. I think I'm going to find about five of them, maybe six. I'm going to go with six. So comment below and let me know, but I'm going to put on the timer for one minute. One minute. All right, ready, set, go. Okay, orange, 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 orange. This is so hard under pressure. Oh my gosh. Okay, down one orange. Orange ocean. Okay. Two. We're up to two. Okay. up already okay that's enough thanks i guess that i would find six and i actually found seven so let me tell you which ones i found i found the totally orange lip smacker um orange fanta lip smacker i found this mini orange rebo this orange blossom eos orange sherbet rebo medicated oh wait this is tangerine oh my gosh never mind I guessed right. I actually found six. The tangerine is not orange. Um, but the last orange flavored lip balm I found was Orange Ocean. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be doing three random lip balm reviews. Let's go. The first lip balm that I will be reviewing is, let's see, Raspberry Ribbon, and it's a lip smacker. So the packaging is super cute. You probably can't see it from here, but it's a Christmas packaging with Minnie Mouse on it. It smells like raspberry candy. It smells super sweet and just like raspberries. I would rate this one an 8.5 out of 10. For the next review, I will be doing, this is a random one. Okay, so this is a Kawaii Girl lip gloss and I think we named her on my channel when I did the package unboxing video, but I don't remember her name. So we are just going to review her. Packaging is really, really cute. She looks super creepy right now though. <laughs> her head's like off, but okay. This honestly smells like absolutely nothing but the slightest little hint of grape, like hairspray or something. I rate this a 3 out of 10, but I do like the packaging. Okay, last random review is going to be on this cotton candy flavored lip balm. That's literally exactly what it says. I don't even know the brand. It just says cotton candy flavored lip balm. Let's, let's sniff it. That smells so good. I actually like this better than Lip Smacker's Cotton Candy one, so that says a lot. I would rate this one a nine out of 10. All right guys, so now I'm going to be doing Guess That Lip Balm. I'm gonna be guessing five flavors today, so let's get started. I know you won't be able to see it, but I will write what it is down below for you. Ooh, what is this? This is like amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna guess that it's like, um, oh, what is this? I know it. Strawberry Fanta Lip Smacker. No, really? It's Courageous Raspberry. It's a lip smacker. Darn it. So that is one wrong, zero right, four to go. Um, this is definitely like a lemon flavored lip smacker. I'm gonna go with lemon cake. No, Evilly Delicious Punch. Seriously, two wrong, three to go. Hopefully I'll have some better luck with this one. I feel like this one is lucky. Whoa, this one's good. Um, is this like salted pretzel, the lip smacker? No, it's called Mystery Cake Salt. It does not smell like cake. That literally smells like a pretzel. But now we have two more to go. All right, here we go. What the heck? Oh, it smells good. Watermelon Rebo. No! How did I get that wrong? Oh my gosh, it's such a basic one. And I can tell it was a Revo. It's a strawberry Revo. Guys, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, but clearly my senses are off. So we got one more. Hopefully this one will be lucky. Um, okay, we picked this one. Ew. Oh. <coughs> Old lady outhouse soap. I don't know. Holy. Oh my gosh, it was the grape slurpee chapstick. That smells awful, I never realized how bad that was. 
Okay, just for the record, this gets like a negative zero out of 10. All right guys, so for the very last game, I'm going to be doing lippy versus lippy. So pretty much I will just be picking up two lip balms and telling you guys which one I would prefer. So we're gonna do five rounds. Let's go. Let's see. We have the pumpkin caramel swirl lip zest versus, ooh, another lip zest, versus berries and cream. So, ooh, pumpkin or berry, let's see. Ooh, pumpkin caramel swirl smells so good. But the berries and cream just smells even better in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to go with the berries and cream lip zest. So four more rounds, here we go. Ooh, we got the I Heart Watermelon Liplicious Lip Gloss which smells so bomb, versus this Skull lip balm that I got for like a penny at Big Lots. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to go with the I Heart Watermelon Liplicious Lip Gloss because it smells a million times better and I actually wear this. Well, this one I just have for the packaging. So, three more, here we go. Okay, we have the Sugar's Holiday Cookies Lip Smacker versus the Glistening Cherry Glaze Lip Smacker. Ooh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with the Sugar's Holiday Cookies because this smells exactly like a sugar cookie. All right, let's do another. Before I even reveal which lip balms these are, I want you guys to comment below and guess if the right hand is going to win or the left hand. Let's see what's in my right hand first. All right, so it's the Green Labello Lip Balm and it's just original, so it has no scent. And then this one, ew, this one's awful. This is the Citrus Mint and I got this at Big Lots, a bunch of other lip balms for like three bucks, but they do have cute packaging. So therefore, oh, this one, this one actually isn't bad. So the left hand one, I'm going to choose the Citrus Mint because this doesn't smell like anything at all. All right guys, so this is the last round of Lippy versus Lippy. I'm gonna guess that my right hand is gonna be the one with the lip balm of my choice. But let's see. Okay, so my right hand had the Cherry Carmex, which smells okay, kind of smells medicated. Um, and then, what do you know? It's another Labello. So I'm gonna have to go with the Cherry Carmex because this is really, really healing and it smells better overall. All right guys, so that was all for today's crazy video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you have a lip balm collection and if so, how many lip balms do you have in your collection? But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.